What's going on, everybody? It's your Robin for this day. Hashtag games before I start this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and Optimum Fitness, and follow my band, Divide Dimension, on Spotify. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up, doesn't cost you a penny, and it helps the channel grow, so I really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. Boom. Takes two seconds. Ready? Boom. There you go. Free. It's free. Helps the channel out, man. So. I got a review for you guys today. Ultimate vegan protein, vanilla cupcake. So health hit supplements uh, sent over this and their whey protein, which is in the back right there, over there. Um, so I'm reviewing um, the vegan protein today. This is the vanilla cupcake flavor. I think they have a chocolate. Um, so you're probably asking yourself, what's the price point? The price point is $44 on their website. And uh, that is for 28 servings, but if you use the coupon Opperman15, it'll get you 15% off. Bringing this down to the high 30 range for 28 servings ends up being around a dollar 30, dollar 40 a serving um, for a vegan protein. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, price point fair, definitely good, fair. So when you're looking at the macros, when you're looking at the macros, you got 120 calories. 3 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 3 carbs, 1 sugar, and 20 grams of protein. Now this is a pea protein brown rice quinoa uh, blend. And I'll put the label up so you guys can see it. And then it is sweetened with stevia, I believe. Uh, yep, stevia extract. So... Looks like a pretty decent uh, protein. You know, it says 11 different superfruits, which provide antioxidants for overall health, provides amino acids, vitamins, and minerals that your body needs, blends of three vegan proteins, no artificial sweeteners, supports muscle growth and aids in recovery. So yeah, there's a, a um, it looked like there was a, a blend of, um, you know, vegetables. So nice to see that in there. You know, you got uh, a fruit, uh, no, you got a fruit blend powder so you get your antioxidants and all your mi micronutrients. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like to see that. Um, you know, will that um, throw off the flavor? I'm not sure. And then it says mix one scoop to four to eight, four to six ounces. So I already got it open. Nice um, eco-friendly bag. Looks like a regular vegan protein. I got the scooper on the top, boom. Let's go ahead and get to the point you guys care about, the taste test. Got the almond milk already ready. Already ready. Boom. All right. Looks like a normal vegan protein. Nothing crazy. Go ahead and put it in there. Shake her up. Do a good old taste test. Your guys' favorite. top nothing no no, uh, no cakiness so that's good mixability is good I'm gonna go ahead and pour I'm gonna go ahead and not pour but I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off looks looks pretty good here we go cheers taste test vanilla cupcake Reminds me of it reminds me of another vegan protein I've had that's similar to this flavor. I want to say it was Redcon One's vegan. Um, I think it was Redcon One uh, Green Barrett, the vanilla one, similar to this one. You get. 
You don't get much, I don't know, you don't get like a super sweet vanilla cupcake on this one. I get a vanilla, just like a regular vanilla kind of taste. And then you get like a little bit of like a, a vegan greens type of taste. Not greens, but a vegan, um, almost like a, just a vegan type of taste. It's not bad though. It's really good. It's solid, um, but it is it is not like a super sweet vanilla cupcake and then the, like that's it. That's not what I'm getting here. I'm getting like a, a vanilla vegan type of taste. And then the back end is this like, just it resembles a little bit of like a vegan taste. I don't know how to describe that. Um, I think it's probably the pea protein, honestly. Not bad though. It's easy to drink. It's not super thick. So it's not like one of those super thick vegan proteins. It's, um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's definitely probably not on my top vegan list. But it's not bad. So, um, with that being said, as far as the ratings, I'm gonna give that... I'm gonna give that a bottom eight, just a straight eight. It's not bad, but it's not knock, it's not knocking my socks off. And I would say it is above above the seven range. You know, could it be a 7.75? Probably, maybe I'm a little nice today. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little nice today, but it's not bad at all. So um, yeah, definitely would have no problem drinking this whole bag. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's not bad at all. It's just, um, yeah, it's just not a top tier type of vegan, but it's definitely not a bottom vegan, you know? It's it's pretty much in the middle range as far as a vegan. I would compare it to the, the Redcon 1's vegan, um, the Redcon 1 vanilla one, very similar. And there might be another one that I'm thinking of that's a vanilla one that I thought was just, just good, just didn't knock my socks off though. So that is what I'm thinking. So that's my that's my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys um, want to try any of their products, use Optimum 15 and I'll get you 15% off. I do want to thank Health um, Health Hit. I almost forgot the company. Health Hit Supplements. Health Hit Supplements for sending over. Uh, I'm gonna give me the opportunity to review it on my channel. I really appreciate it. Other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Share, like it, comment down below. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. And we're progressing and never regressing. And I'll check you guys later. Yeah.